Benny from the web video company. Welcome along. Today we're going to be learning all about something called green screen. Now what is green screen? Well, it's simply a technology that will allow you to shoot a bit of video against a green wall or a green bit of cloth. And after you've shot the video, you can then import it onto your computer and replace that color green with whatever you like. Now if you've ever watched the news or if you've ever seen Hollywood films or TV programs where there's kind of fancy graphics going on behind the presenter, this will always be done with a green screen. Um, sometimes you can use a blue screen as well, and it's also known as chroma key, if you've ever heard of that term used before. And just to demonstrate today that you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on fancy cameras, we're going to just be using this cheap camera. It's a Kodak ZI8 pocket size HD camera, really, really inexpensive, and you can pick one of these up from your local electronics store. So having said all that, let's get straight to it. First of all, I just want to show you the green screen. Now, you don't have to have a fancy pop-up green screen like I'm going to show you today. If you've got a sheet and you, you can iron it so it's nice and crease-free, that will work perfectly. Likewise, if you have a green painted wall or a large bit of uh, wood board painted green, that will also function just as well. We've hung the green screen up, as you can see, here, and the first point I want to address is lighting. Now, lighting is really important when you're putting together a green screen, and it can make that difference between having something that's a bit jagged around the edges, doesn't look very professional, and something that looks really crisp and professional and well lit. Um, obviously, the background needs a nice uniform green glow, so when we're actually picking it up on camera, when we then import it onto the software, um, the software doesn't have any kind of shadows or it doesn't pick up on any kind of um, variances in colour of the green, etc. And we're going to do that by kind of bleaching out with lights. So I've got two of these lights. Now, you don't need to go out and buy kind of uh, professional, semi professional lighting like this. These are softbox lights. They're not hugely expensive, actually. You can go and pick these up off, off eBay or somewhere like that or from, um, you know, there's plenty of places online where you can order this sort of stuff. Um, and the, these actually produce a really nice white uniform light, which is why I'm using them today. However, you know, if you're not wanting to spend any money on lighting equipment, you can go down to your local uh, hardware store and pick up a couple of halogen floodlights, the sort that you'd maybe use on a building site. And, yeah, they get a lot hotter than these will. Um, but they do produce a really nice, bright, intense light and they'd be suitable for doing green screen like this. So let's just set these up here. Um, I'm going to have two either side of the green screen and we're going to face them onto the screen like so, okay? And if I could just plug this in quickly, just so you can see. You can see immediately this starts uh, actually lighting the, the screen up a bit better and we'll just adjust that face it up a little bit all right so um, yes I'm happy with that now, the next point I want to make is that when I'm actually filming if I stand too close to the screen you'll see I kind of cast shadows on the screen now this is not good so what we actually need to do is these two lights which are going to be lighting the screen behind me I actually need to stand forward from these lights so I don't cast any kind of shadow on the screen that's really really important you must remember to do that and um, have these lights specifically for the purpose of lighting the screen, not lighting yourself on the screen. What I'm actually gonna do when I've set these two lights up is have another light in front of me which lights me up for the camera. The light I'm setting up then is gonna be behind the camera which we're gonna have just in front of this light, and obviously way back here. And this is just to actually cast some light on me because I need to be lit as well, otherwise I'm gonna seem really dark compared to the screen behind me. So we need to make a nice even light on the screen behind me, which we've achieved already. The next stage, as I say, is just to have this light back here, just lighting the front of me, just so you can actually see me when I'm talking and I don't look really dark. Okay, so we're almost there now. The last thing I need to do is just situate this chair because I'm gonna be sat down whilst I'm doing this shot, just in front of the green screen. As I mentioned earlier, um, the way I wanna sit situate it is so it's not too close to the screen because I don't wanna cast any shadows. So we've just moved it forward a little bit so it's pretty much on level with the lights and most of the light that's cast is gonna be behind me when I'm sat down. Okay, so our last stage, and this is where it becomes a lot of fun, we've got all the lighting set up. As you can see behind me, we've got the chair, we've got the green screen, we've got the lights all around us, so everything is nice and bright and clear. Camera. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're not using an expensive camera here, we're just using 
a standard uh, small pocket sized HD camera. It's going to record onto memory card so we can load it off the computer nice and easy. First things first, I just, I've got this obviously mounted on a tripod, um, which is recommended really for green screen work. We're just going to raise it up just so it's pretty much going to be level with my eyes uh, when I'm actually sat down. We're then going to just turn the camera on and obviously we just need to adjust it so you can just see the tip of the back of the chair at the bottom of the screen. We just want to adjust it so we can't see anything apart from nice even green screen behind me. All right, and we'll just lock the tripod off then so it's all going to stay put. And then we're finally ready to start making some green screen. So you'll just be able to watch this, get this third person perspective as I press record on here and then we're recording. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go and sit down in the chair and hopefully cameraman will be able to give me a nod. Can you see me on the screen okay? Brilliant. Right, so uh, hopefully now we're, we're on and this is going to be our footage for the green screen. You'll have, you guys at home watching this will obviously be able to see um, exactly what this looks like from not only the outside perspective, but what the viewer will see once we've recorded this. And um, that, in a nutshell, is how to set up green screen. Next, we're going to be showing you how you actually can transfer it onto your computer and start editing, start making the green screen go from something where it's just me with a green background to a reality. So that's the next stage of this process. Let's go. All right, so we've looked at how we set up green screen, we set up the lighting and set up the camera. How about how to actually bring it all together and apply the chroma key effect to our green screen footage? Well, here's your next step. If you're a Mac user, head on over to www.j.mp forward slash green screen Mac, or if you're on Windows, j.mp forward slash green screen PC. These are just two shortened URLs just to make it easier for you to type them in. So j.mp forward slash green screen Mac for Mac users or j.mp forward slash green screen PC if you're on Windows. Now obviously because of the two different operating systems there are slightly different bits of software which we're going to be using to do this. Both are free by the way so go check it out and we'll cover how to actually import the footage in part.